G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, I'm pushing on with this uh, flame liquor engine conversion that I've been doing for a little while. And I'm converting uh, one I got from Bangwood that I call the Bastard uh, Flame Liquor Engine because it is a proper bastard as far as I'm concerned to get it to run properly. And Bangwood don't even, don't even sell it even anymore and uh, I can see why because a lot of people never got it to run. I got it to run but then it wouldn't run and Anyway, I've played around with it and tried to improve it, but nah, a lost cause. So I'm converting it to a popping engine design, which I've also played around with. And whether it runs or whether it doesn't run, at the end we'll have to wait and see. And I have to do some milling on it to make room for the the valve, the little arm valve that the poppins have. And rather than get out the vertical mill slide and a lot of muck around, I'm just using this little... 775 DC powered spindle assembly which I use all the time it's super handy mainly for radial drilling and cross drilling it is so precise but it does a mighty good job you know and I don't like milling with it anyway today we're going to put a 10 mil end mill in it and we're going to mill aluminium with it 10 mil is a lot for this little rig believe me even though it's going to be a really sharp end mill but we'll see how it goes I expect it'll be all right if it just goes slowly and I'm running it from a GoFert 0 to 60 volt DC power supply that I got from Banggood, 5 amp, excellent unit, suits this motor perfectly. If you go beyond 5 amps with these motors, they'll get hot, they'll start to get hot, whereas with 5 amps, even at 40 volts for a, what is a 32 volt motor, the motor stays cool as a cucumber, so it does a good job. So anyway, that's the rig. So yeah, let's get on with it and see if it actually... Uh, has got what it takes. Has it got the right stuff? Yeah, let's see. Give it a bit more support. I'll crank it up a bit. Twenty three volts, twenty four volts. This is a NACO coated end mill so it could, could handle it all right. doing light cuts on this
give it a bit of a drink. Right here. Although these drill, these end drills won't gall up with their Mako coders, but it might help it cut a bit better. These are Drill Pro end mills. This one is 10 mil. I could have gone to 12 mil, but this is more than enough. As long as they've got enough room, and this is plenty of room, so I'll uh, just cut out the amount of metal I need. The beauty of doing it this way, rather than the mill side, is that the big chuck and hold it in position a lot, hell of a lot better without damaging it and marking it. So, just take your time and you'll get there. It's only a small rig but it, it does this sort of work. Spindles in, bo in bottom gear, so um, slow as speed, speed uh, slow as rotational speed, so that's not moving either. You don't need a lock on that, it'll just sit there quite happily. Because it's not rotational force, it's horizontal. I've had to switch to a dead centre because the live centre was hitting the end of the, uh, the top slide which I've got canted around to bring back the drive unit so I can get a, a longer end mill in there so uh, yeah this should be okay it's just a matter of give it a little bit of bracing and just take any vibration out So that's the finished job. You can see the end mills totally clean, even though I did 90% of it dry. I decided it wasn't worth putting on uh, lube you know, once I got rolling. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the blue NACO does not gall like you can get with an ordinary high speed steel. Definitely worth considering if you're going to buy some end mills, blue NACO. There's a blue Nano as well. They're probably very similar. Uh, similar sort of coating I'd expect, but anyway, these end mills are Drill Pro and they are blue uh, NACO. So yeah, you now it's just a matter of take it out and clean it up and get on with the job. 
can see we milled out quite a bit. Uh, there's plenty of residue there. Yeah, it did a good job. No problems whatsoever. So, you know, if I'm going to mill, well, there are ways around it. So there you go, milling job done. Turned out great. That's all you can ask for. And who needs a mill? <laughs> all right, I hope you got something out of it and saw what the little uh, drill pro spindle assembly can do. Pistons done, cams on, it's just a matter of work out the rocker mechanism and we're good to go, hopefully. Okay, that's it for now. See you next time. Cheers.